Hello everybody, this is Nick, and it's been a long time since I've put up a review. But, then again, it's been a long time since I've bought a watch. But, so, I felt like putting up a video, just to uh, see if I still remember what I'm doing. But here today, we have a Luminox 1827, also known as their field watch. It's been a while since I've bought anything, and I started a new job. And my new job mainly involves generally wearing like a business casual, button down, slacks, that kind of type of thing. And I got a little extra money for Christmas, so I guess kind of a bonus. And my wife suggested I tr maybe try a new watch. <clears throat> you know, I've got a silver Rolex and a blue Omega, so she suggested maybe getting something like a tan or beige that I could wear with the khakis. So I looked around and I came across this one. There are a lot of things that I liked about this watch design. It's got the beige face, nice brown leather strap. You know, it's a good size. I was kind of <clears throat> kind of tired of wearing some smaller watches and even this one at 43 millimeters isn't that big, but it's bigger than what I had been wearing. But onto the watch. <clears throat> Like I said, the case is about 43 millimeters. You have a sapphire crystal with an inner anti-reflective coating. Um, not Breitling level anti-reflective coating, but enough to cut off some glare. But uh, again, sapphire with anti-reflective coating. An all brushed case, stainless steel. Screw down case back with some of the inscriptions on it. I don't know if the camera's gonna focus in on it. I might have cleared up a little bit. Got a nice big screw down crown, which I like. It is even easy to use with the uh, fat fingers. The uh, the threading's nice. It's easy to, to pull in, pull out. Uh, the stems a touch on the wobbly side when pulled all the way out to the second click, say to you know to adjust the time. Luckily, this is a quartz watch, so I shouldn't have to have it pulled out very often because it wasn't real encouraging just to kind of feel the play the stem had in it uh, of course you see the see the the tubes now unlike a traditional watch that uses paint for luminescence at night these watches use tubes filled with a, with a gas which the name escapes me now that glows glows all the time and it's guaranteed for 25 years while it's never it's never going to be as bright as say like a Seiko monster when it's fully charged these stay consistently bright throughout the night. I mean, if it were to suddenly go dark in here, this watch would still glow. Unlike paint, which may only have a have a faint glow and may fade away pretty much completely within completely within a couple of hours. This is the first watch I've had with tubes, and so far I'm pretty impressed. Uh, they're not as bright as I thought they might be, but they're definitely there's enough light there to see what time it is in complete darkness. Yeah, and even when there's not complete darkness, you still can see light. I may turn off the lights here in a little bit to let you kind of get a look, at, get an idea of what it might look like. But like I said, this watch is a, is a quartz. It uses a Ronda 515 quartz movement. Nothing particularly fancy about that. Um, you know, kind of wish it might have been an Eta or even a Ronda 715 would have been a little nicer, but then again... You will have people tell you that a quartz is a quartz is a quartz, so it doesn't really matter. Um, as you can see, I kind of like how the, uh, we've got the three day window here, the day of the week, it's, which being that it's one in the morning is in the middle of changing over to Friday. The date is already turned over. Um, otherwise, I'm always a little cautious when I buy a watch on a strap. I hate a stiff strap. I mean, because I've got kind of big wrist and a stiff strap is just terribly uncomfortable. This one is very pliable, very soft. And one of the nicer stock straps I've seen. You got the nice Luminox symbol there. And then we got genuine leather. I believe it's a 22 millimeter lug. Got two nice looking rivets here. Which I think overall gives this watch <clears throat> maybe a little sporty for business casual, but I think it looks nice with a nice pair of brown shoes and khakis. If I wanted to make it a little dressier, I could maybe put it on a, uh, a nicer looking strap, and I think it'd, it'd pull it off pretty nicely. The strap is uh, 
It's not water resistant, which I would have thought with a watch that traded for 200 meters water resistance, maybe they would have put one on there that was water resistant. And to my surprise, uh, there's nothing advertised on the strap as being water resistant. So, and actually I stand corrected. The band is 23 millimeters. So, <clears throat> so you could probably squeeze a 24 in there if you really wanted to. You'd squeeze in there. I've always kind of, if I've had a 21, you could squeeze a 22 in there. And 23, you could probably put a 24 in there and so on. And still <clears throat> have a wide choice of straps. <clears throat> Overall, <clears throat> excuse me, the watch ended up running about two hundred and sixty dollars. For a lot of the features, it's priced pretty well. You get a nice brushed case, sapphire crystal anti-reflective coating, Swiss made, Swiss movement, nice leather strap, two hundred meters water resistance, and you also get the, uh, I believe they're the T25 tubes. And uh, overall, I like it if it's good on the wrist. Um, I've actually kind of forgotten how much lighter a watch can feel if it's on a strap. And it's actually very nice after wearing two automatics on a bracelet for a while. But overall, I think if you're looking for kind of a uh, kind of a heavier duty but also kind of subdued watch, it's not maybe as outlandish as a big diver. I believe with this watch you kind of get a lot of the benefits of a diver without kind of standing out and being out of place in a more conservative atmosphere. But uh, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to you know, send them to me. I will try to keep up better with my messages and I'll probably be doing some more reviews soon as uh, I think I'll probably be starting to buy some more watches again. So for my subscribers who've been patiently waiting. Hopefully it was worth the wait, maybe, maybe not, but uh, probably within the next week or two, I'll have up a, uh, another review of the new Orient Pocket Watch from Orient Watches USA. I'm really excited about that one, but uh, let's see. Let me see if I can turn the light off real quick and give you an idea of the, uh, the tubes. Um, pretty faint. <coughs> Excuse me. But you can kind of see, I think it's because the camera doesn't know what to focus on. See, most of them are green with the 12 o'clock being orange. Again, it'll never be as bright as a monster, but then again, it's constant brightness. And Luminox has some catchphrase as something like uh, vision at all, I don't know, something about being able to see it at all times. I forget the catchphrase right off the top of my head now. <clears throat> but, uh, well, thanks for watching, and stay tuned as I add more reviews.